Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad you could all make it to tonight's episode of Robot Trivia Party. I'm your host, Robot Riddles, and I can personally guarantee that you're going to have an absolute blast. Regardless of if you're in a group or just all by your lonesome, I'm sure we've got some trivia that'll make you smile. Okay, let's dive into our next trivia treasure trove. Ready for some brain gymnastics? What was the original flavor of the filling in Twinkies? Oh, this one is deliciously tricky. Let's see our options. Vanilla. Banana. Strawberry. Get ready, get set, snack on your thoughts because your time starts now. While you chew on that, remember the best things in life are sweet, and apparently so are some of our quiz answers. Stop! Put down the snacks and pick up your thinking caps again. Banana is the answer to this question. Hats off if you knew that tasty tidbit. Twinkies have evolved, but they started with banana. Sweet success to those who guessed right. Shake off that last question and brace yourself for this next puzzler. What element is named after the creator of the periodic table? A curious chemistry conundrum indeed. Let's explore the possible elements. Einsteinium. Mendelevium. Curium. And the clock is ticking. Think fast, my friends. If you feel like you're not doing much, just remember that helium is a noble gas, and it doesn't even react to anything. That's it, pencils down. Time to reveal who's got the elemental prowess. Mendelevium is the answer to this question. Congrats if you got that one. Mendeleev certainly left his mark, not just on the table, but on the elements themselves. No rest for the witty. Here's the next question coming your way. Which city is known as the City of a Hundred Spires? A picturesque query indeed. Let's check out the options. Prague. Vienna. Budapest. Time's ticking and the spires are watching. Start guessing now. If cities were people, who would be that friend who knows a bit about everything and looks picture perfect in every photo? Time is up, folks. Who's got the skyline figured out? Prague is the answer to this question. Well done to those who got it. Prague is truly a city that towers above the rest, at least in terms of spires. You better brush up on your historical savvy because this next one's a doozy. Who was the first U.S. president to live in the White House? Let's take a stroll through history with these options. John Adams. Thomas Jefferson. George Washington. The presidential clock is running. Your time starts now. Imagine moving into a new house and finding out it's the White House. Talk about an upgrade from your average fixer-upper. Time's up. Let's see who made the presidential cut. John Adams is the answer to this question. Congratulations to those who knew this historical tidbit. Adams might not have had a moving van, but he sure moved history. Ready for a great big leap into our trivia cosmos? Which planet has the most moons? A galactic challenge indeed. Here are the candidates for this one. Jupiter. Saturn. Neptune. The world doesn't revolve around you, so start thinking and let's get that clock going. If you think keeping track of one moon is hard, imagine having dozens. Definitely a job that I don't want. And that's the cosmic bell. Time's up. Let's see who's got the galactic goods. Saturn is the answer to this question. Stellar job if you picked Saturn. It's not just rings that this planet's got plenty of. Kudos to our moon counters out there. Moving on swiftly, let's sail into our next question. Film enthusiasts might have a bit of an edge here. In what year was the movie Titanic released? Let's dive into the icy waters of cinematic history with the options coming right up. 1995, 1997, 1999. The clock is ticking faster than the Titanic sank. Start guessing now. Just think. If you get this wrong, it's not nearly as disastrous as hitting an iceberg. Or is it? Time's up. 
Let's see who will float and who will sink with the correct answer. 1997 is the answer to this question. Well done if you got that right. If not, remember, it's about the journey, not the destination. On to the next. Now, let's transition to a glittering new question. Get your elements in order. Which element is known as the king of metals? Curious to see the choices? Here they come. Iron. Gold. Silver. And the countdown begins now. No pressure, but your crown awaits. Choosing the right answer here is a bit like alchemy, turning lead into gold, or guesswork into points. All right, the clock struck zero. Time to crown the kings and queens of trivia here. Gold is the answer to this question. Kudos to the golden minds out there. If you guessed differently, don't worry. Every cloud has a silver lining. Let's keep the energy soaring with our next question. Ready for a high-flying challenge? What is the only mammal capable of true flight? Let's unfold our wings and explore the options. Flying squirrel. Bat. Pterodactyl. All right, it's time to take off. Your timer starts now. If you're guessing flying squirrel, just remember, they're more glide than fly. But no hints, right? And we land right back here. Time's up. Let's see who flew past this question and who's just winging it. Bat is the answer to this question. Congratulations to our high flyers who got it right. If you didn't, no worries. Not everyone can be night creatures. Now, let's rock it into our next question, which is quite literally out of this world. What was the first soft drink in space? Ready to pop the lid on this bubbly challenge? All right. Here are your options. Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper. Get those straws ready because we're going zero gravity in three, two, one. Start the clock. Hopefully your guesses aren't as fizzy as soda in zero G. Imagine opening a can up there. Messy, right? Okay, gravity's back on and time's up. Let's see who's got the right formula. Coca-Cola is the answer to this question. Cheers to those who knew their space history. For others, don't fizz out. We've got more questions coming. All right, let's turn the page to our next intriguing question. Literary buffs, this one's for you. Which author wrote the novel 1984? Such a good one. Here are the authors who might have penned this dystopian classic. Aldous Huxley. Ray Bradbury. George Orwell. The plot thickens, and your time starts now. Think carefully. Getting this wrong could be a real nightmare. Pencils down and eyes up here. Let's see who's authored the correct answer. George Orwell is the answer to this question. Well done to those who knew their literary giants. If not, don't worry. Not all of us can be big brothers in the world of books. As the world spins, we move east for our next enlightening question. Are you ready to shine? Which country is known as the land of the rising sun? That's a tough one. Let's illuminate the options now. China. Japan. South Korea. The sun's up and so is your timer. Your journey east starts now. Remember, choosing the right country here is the difference between sunrise and just risen sun. And the day finally breaks on our timer. Time's up. Let's see who's greeted the morning correctly. Japan is the answer to this question. A radiant round of applause to those who got it right. If you didn't, no worries. The sun will rise again on more trivia questions. And now... A sprint to our next question. Sports fans, this one's your hurdle. Which city hosted the 2012 Summer Olympics? Ooh, I'm sure I know this one. Let's race through these options. Beijing. London. Rio de Janeiro. On your marks. Get set. Go. The timer starts now. Choosing the right city here is not a marathon. It's a sprint, so pick quickly.
and the finish line has been crossed. Time's up, let's see who's taken home the gold with the right answer. London is the answer to this question. Hats off to the winners who sprinted to the right answer. If you didn't make it this time, stay in the race. There's more to come. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But that's all the trivia we have for you tonight, folks. If you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe or check out some of our other awesome trivia videos for even more fun. Good night, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>